it's your boy King Bruno. Today I'm coming at y'all with another album review, and this time it's to Ariana Grande's Sweetener and G. Yeah. Take me to the truth. This was actually good. This was better than I expected. I expected it to be all like poppy and all like clean and Disney and, and all that other stuff. But it was actually really it was it was really okay. It was really good. Uh, I'm gonna tell y'all what I rated it at the end, but right now I'm gonna tell y'all how I rated it. I rated the uh, songs from like songs that like I didn't really care about. I gave it a zero. Like not like it's a bad thing, but like I'm doing that as a point scale. I gave the songs that I didn't care about a zero. Songs that I didn't like, I gave minus one. Uh, songs that I thought could be better or thought that I I thought that it needed something or something like that, I gave point five. And the songs that I liked. I gave a point and she had 15 tracks and at the end y'all gonna see what I rated it but just to let y'all know right now I had no tracks where I didn't like them okay so there were no tracks on this album where I thought man this is trash this is terrible this is this is garbage okay this is garbage let me stop playing <laughs> I messed with y'all I messed with you okay uh, but yeah there were no tracks that I thought were garbage on here uh, let me first get to the tracks that I didn't really care about First raindrops. I, that's the opener of this of the um, album. It was okay. It was like it was an opener, <laughs> you know, like a interlude, a starting, an opening, you know, something like that. Um, yeah, it, it was just something that I'm not gonna remember. I'm not gonna go back and be like, man, I need to hear that like 50 second intro. That's why I put it in the pile of you know songs that I didn't really care about. Another song is No Tears Left to Cry. I. It, it like it wasn't it wasn't bad it wasn't bad by a long shot but it just left me with a feeling of like you know I these these basically are the songs that are like you know they're they're okay but they didn't give me a lasting impact like they were like I can go my whole life without listening to this or like if I review the album again I won't like like they're not trash but I'm not gonna listen to them pretty much ever again. Um, and then the next one is Get Well Soon. It's the last track on here. I felt like it was it was dragged out way too long. It shouldn't have been the five minute track. If you would have cut like two minutes off of that and really got what you wanted to say into that, I thought that it would have been better. But uh, on to the songs that I thought could be better. Uh, I have the actual track of the album, Sweetener. I liked it. It was. It, it felt like it just lacked something, okay? I'm looking at my notes as I'm doing it. I just felt like it lacked something, something that was just like... You know how when you hear a song and it's just like, man, I'm really waiting for you to just, you know, grab the brass ring and just, you know, really pull me in. And that, that track wasn't a track that pulled me in or anything like that. Um, and then another uh, track that I thought was a track that could be better was Borderline. I feel like Missy Elliott, she really saved that thing. And uh, hold on, hold on, before I even go any further, props to you, Ariana Grande. Gee, you wrote like 90% of this album. And like, gee, nowadays I feel like R&B singers, like pop singers and all that, they don't write none of their tracks unless it's like the actual people that's writing for other people like Bruno Mars and all these other people like Party Next Door. He giving people uh, stuff like that and Bruno Mars and uh, all other songwriters. I feel like, you know, it's gotten to a point where we really lacked originality. And what I mean by originality, I mean like, you know, you're writing your own stuff, you're writing your own stuff, you're doing your own stuff that's by you and how you feel, not other people writing for you necessarily but yeah borderline i feel like missy elliott saved that track i feel like um you know it was going towards trash but then it started getting better and then when missy elliott part came up it was like you know what this is this this is actually a good song so because of the slow start that you know i felt that it got to i gave it a 0.5 on here and i put it in the songs that could be better uh pharrell wrote some of that stuff on this track and you can feel you can like when pharrell's on the track you can really feel his presence like you really feel his presence uh and then another song that's uh that I thought was a point five was uh good night and go i thought that that was a point five because it's just like these are songs that are good, but they're not, they don't give you that lasting impression. This is another song that I felt like it lacked a lot of stuff. And before I go any further, like, it was not a, it was not a track on this album where the, the production value where, like, you felt like it wasn't mixed well or anything like that. Like, there was no, 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 no bad spots on this album, like, sonically. Like, sonically, it was great. Production value-wise, it was great. I really liked that. 
like her label is really putting they really you know saying you know what star player one of our star players if not the star player of our like our pop division or you know stuff like that uh we really gonna get you what you need and we gonna push you to the moon and i feel like you know you can really feel that you can feel the like not all the times you can feel like from labels that they really you know believe in their people but with her they know that she gonna bring out numbers they know that she gonna give out you know uh okay to good stuff so they gonna you know you can feel that you know her label really messes with her and they really you know value her as an artist and stuff because the production value uh sonically everything was all everything was great to me and I know I always say that, um, like, the album reviews and stuff is, like, production value, all that stuff. But it actually be really good, and I like that a lot. But Good Night and Go, I feel like it was just missing something. It was missing something. Like, these, like this, and, um, uh, and then The Light is Coming. Like, like, I feel like they were just missing something. Like, it really felt like something was missing. And, uh, off of Sweetener. And then let me get to the songs that I really liked, Okay. Sorry, I'm looking at the thing because it's like I gotta go look at this, look at the stuff so I don't get the things wrong. So the way when at the end when I get all my rating, y'all know why, y'all know how and all of the stuff. But the songs that I thought were, you know, that I actually liked and I thought were fire. Like like they, they these these tracks are actually really good. I really like them a lot. I like Blaze, cause G for real. Ooh, G for I'm sorry y'all. But like for real is like one of my favorite music people, period. Not even like artists and like his stuff, but like him, period, being in music and just he, like when he's on a track, G, it just makes it so much better. Name a track that Pharrell got on that was terrible. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I am waiting. I am looking, I am waiting. Like I am waiting. You can't. Pharrell brings a lot to this track and she does, she came in, G. When I heard this song, I'm like, you know what? I started clapping because I'm like, you know what? Ariana Grande, you really doing your thing. You really doing your thing. You really coming to your own. You can see the progression and the maturity from her later projects on to now. Like, I really like when we get to see these people who were in the spotlight as like children and as teenagers and stuff, and when their content matures with their audience as well because these people growing up on Ariana Grande and then like um, it matures to the point where like other people can listen to your stuff who are younger than you and older than you and stuff like that but one thing on this project I do not feel like she makes music for everybody I feel like she has her niche and she really hits that margin like it ain't nothing like I feel like she need to become a little bit more experimental with her stuff like that uh, it's pretty much you know pop and pop or die and stuff like that uh but i mean that's her thing that's what she does i ain't gonna knock it you know it's her thing i feel like you know she need to because i feel like gee if, if somebody wrote for her like a rap or something like if she wanted to rap a verse on her songs and stuff like that she could body that she could really body that she could be one of these people who are multi-dimensional in the music realm but let me get to the other ones god is a woman we all know that song sounds freaking amazing okay it does it sounds it, it's fire it's fire when, when i saw uh pete davidson talking about it, i'm like bro i agree with you it's just fire it just sounds beautiful it sounds godly like i like it sound like you know i don't know i don't know but it just it sounds really good uh i like successful this one she i feel like she in her bag on this one and she just you know what i know i'm me i know i'm successful let me give you a braggadocious track where it's just like I'm just flexing on y'all and I'm just I'm I'm telling the haters and everybody else, not even like the haters, but I'm just telling you, you know how you, you know you, you gotta know how I feel to be this rich, this good looking and all that and successful. Like that's how that's what came across to me is like she really she was very braggadocious on this one. And I actually like that. I like that a lot. I like when artists really tell you, like, you know, I'm doing my thing and I'ma let you know I'm doing it and Hey, how I feel? Ask me. Like that one. Uh, another one I like every time. I feel like she kind of, you know, subliminally dissed Mac Miller on that one. She did subliminally, subliminally, sorry, can't talk. Uh, but yeah, she subliminally dissed him a little bit. Because I feel like this whole album was just like a view to him. Because it's like she is waving her, well, not even like waving her success, but waving her happiness in his face and just saying like, you know what? very toxic relationship so I'm on 
to better things. And I'm gonna let you know that I'm on to better things with this album, G. I feel like this was the biggest F you to him. Like, bro, you, you, she, cause especially on the Pete uh, Davidson track, that, that track had me like, I was dead. Even though it was like a minute, I was dead and I love that track. That's another track that got a plus one for me. Because it's like, she's, you can't get mad at people being happy and talking about themselves being happy. I really, really, really like that. Can't stress that enough. Another uh, track that I like is um, every, oh, no, I talked about every time, but um, breathing. I feel like that's like, gee, I feel like if somebody got like anxiety or something, they can listen to that and be like, gee, I know how to handle certain stuff. I know how to do certain stuff because, you know, you can listen to that song and she like every time she get worked up, she just breathes. She got to remember to breathe. She got to remember to breathe. And that's what a lot of people with anxiety have to do. So I feel like, you know, even even though she's not making a song like because of anxiety and stuff like that, that made that was what it was making me think of. Like if somebody was having an anxiety attack or something like that, just breathe. She's saying whenever she get worked up, she just breathes. And I'm like, you know what? I like this track, and I mess with this track, so you get a ding, you get a point, you get on the songs that I really liked, um, and then better off. Another thing where it's like, you know, subliminals, subliminals, uh, but I really liked that one too. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a track that was like, you know, I'm like, gee, this is fire, but I'm like, gee, this is a solid song that was built great, that was structured great, and she did her own thing on that one, so I really liked that one. So, let me get to the part where I actually rate her project, and what I rated the project is a seven I'm, I'm teetering towards like because the way the point scale worked it would have been like a six uh six point something or whatever like that but the way that i did it or, or the, yeah the way that i did it it was like i gave her a couple extra points because it's like she's grown so i will rate this project like a seven and a half you know seven seven and a half or something like that because i actually like the project a lot i feel like she you know she did her own thing. She she knows who our audience is, and she went, you know, I'm going to go satisfy you. I feel like she need to be a little bit more experimental. She had no tracks that I didn't like, which is great. It's usually songs like with pop artists where I, like, hate what they're saying, and I just, I literally hate it. And it's just, like, so corny and stuff like that. And, I mean, she had, like, some corny lines and stuff like that. Who doesn't? But, like, a lot of people in pop now, I feel like they just over cornball everything. And she didn't really do that. Uh, but I really like this project. I gave it a 7 to, like, a 7.5. Um, so, yeah. Let me know what y'all thought of the album in the comment section. Please don't, like, grill me and say, like, oh, my God, the album was trash. Or, oh, my God, the album was good in the comment section. Just let me know. But just don't talk about me, okay? It's my first time, you know, reacting to her music and stuff like that. So don't grill me in the comment section. I personally like the album. It's all about the experience that you get. Let me know what experience you got from the album. Let me know if you liked it, loved it, hate it. And, um, yeah, sorry, man. I sound like Anthony Fantano. But, yeah, uh, let me know what you thought of the album. Let me know what you would have rated it. And, yeah, so we can have a dialogue, you know. Ariana Grande, Sweetener. Dope to me. Dope to me. 7 out of 10. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Let's go. It's been your boy King Brando. Make sure y'all like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. I just said subscribe to the channel. Hit them post notifications. See, I can, I can never outro videos, G. If y'all do subscribe, y'all gonna learn that I cannot outro videos. But yeah, it's been your boy King Brando. Peace. Slime language is up next. Stay around for that if you want to. Peace. Yeah. Take me to the truth